The Radwanska sisters were both in action on quarter-final day at the Brussels Open. Ursula opening up against Sweden, Sofia Arvidsson. The younger Radwanska, who knocked out second seed Marion Bartoli in round two, raced into a three-love lead. But Arvidsson fought back strongly and she appeared in top form towards the end of a tight opening set. And an overhit forehand from Radwanska at the crucial moment duly put the Swede a set ahead. Fourth time of asking. Arvidsson does take the opening set by seven games to five. Arvidsson fell at the quarter-final stage here last year, but rarely looked troubled in this one. Although she was made to work for a semi-final spot by Radwanska, the pole saving match point with a gutsy drop shot. Oh, what a brave, brave point from Radwanska on oh, match point. However, it was merely delaying the inevitable as Arvidsson reached her second semi-final of the year. Arvidsson attacks the second serve and Radvanska can't keep her return in and it drifts wide. Eight seed Kaya Kanepi looked to continue her fine season as she took on Svetana Peronkova in the second quarter final. Kanepi already has two titles to her name in 2012 and reached the quarterfinals here with comfortable straight sets wins in the first two rounds. And she was quickly into her stride against Peronkova, breaking with this superb winner. And this time she finds the target. The Estonian slumped to love 40 and tried to close out the set, but she reeled off the required points to take it 6-3. And puts away the forehand and the three double faults at the start of the ninth game of the opening set. Don't cost up. And Kanepi breezed through the second set to book her place in the last four. And it's there the third time of asking. Peronkova puts her forehand into the net. And Kaya Kanepi, the number eight seed, is through to the semi finals. Home wildcard Alison Van Ertvang's burgeoning career reached a new high as she took on top seed and world number three, Agnieszka Radwanska. The 18 year old, ranked 450 in the world, had delighted the local crowd with her superb run to the quarter finals, having reached the second round here last year. But Radwanska was in no mood to be charitable to the teenager. Yeah, well played. And Van Ertvank appeared to struggle on her big day as Radwanska took the first set 6 2. And it's into the net, and it is the opening set to Agnieszka Radwanska. Two three-set victories may have taken a little out of Van Ertvank, although she did show flashes of her potential. But even when she thought she had points won, Radwanska's greater quality shone through. Oh, yes. Having dropped just one game in her second round match, Radwanska gave just three away to Van Ertvank as she cruised through to the semis where Kaya Kanepi awaits. And there is to be... No fairy tale for Alison van Erdbank. The last quarter final saw fourth seed Dominika Sobolkova taking on Simona Halep, who had knocked out Yelena Jankovic in round one. Halep had won her second round match for the loss of just two games, but she was put to the sword in the opening set by Sobolkova, who won it six love in just 24 minutes. Oh, yes. And a ripping forehand down the line gives Sobolkova. A third break of serve, and with it, the first set. But the momentum swung back in Halep's favour in the second set. The world number 49 has now reached three quarter-finals in her last five tournaments, and she put the disappointment of the first set behind her with some fine winners. Too strong. And when Sibulkova drifted into the tram lines on set point, the centre court crowd prepared for a decider. And she takes it, the Sibulkova's backhand drifts wide, and we're into a third and deciding set here. But with Halep 3 love up in the final set, the heavens opened, sparking a near two hour delay. When the players finally returned, Sibulkova threatened a comeback, rescuing one of the breaks of serve. But Halap recovered to serve it out 6-3 and set up a semi-final with Sofia Arvidsson. And this time the ground strokes can't get her out of trouble. 
and Simona Halep has overturned a first set nightmare to book her place in the semi-finals here in Brussels.